the UK grocer Tesco is selling this so-called ugly fruit in their stores. They call it the imperfectly perfect campaign, and the wonky looking fruit is sold at about 3.25 pounds per kilogram. And uh, a pound is a British dollar in this context, not the unit of measurement co-opted by the fashion industry to create a warped idea of health and beauty. There are also apps that can help you take inventory of the food waste and ensure that excess food gets to people that need it. In the UK, apps like Food Cloud and Fair Share are used to connect grocery stores with charities to get the food to homeless people or to lower income families to ensure that the world is fed. In the States, Copia is doing something similar. By connecting, it with, connecting you with a, a food seller or businesses that have excess food, they send a driver to pick it up and get it to a place that needs it. There is so much high quality surplus that's wasted that just needs to find the people that need it the most. Komal is the founder of Kopia, a startup that's trying to recover all this perfectly good food. If you imagine the world's largest football stadium filled to its absolute brim, that's how much food goes wasted every single day in America. And I'm not talking about last night's pad thai or this morning's half-eaten pastries, but untouched, uneaten, perfectly edible food. So we don't need to purchase or make more food. We just need to figure out how to get it to the people who need it. MIT. And with the way Copia works, the conservatives and pretend liberals that don't help homeless people can be on board with this too. It is job creation. And since America is all about having someone else do shit for you since personal responsibility and accountability is something that this country has forgotten about much like most of its history, this is exactly what we need to have a cultural shift on food waste. Someone has to pick up and drop off that food, load the trucks, work on the app, and so on. You have some food, you type your info into the Copia app. A driver will then come and pick up your food and deliver it to the shelters that need it. And during big events like Super Bowl 50, there's a ton of extra food. The issue is that it has a short shelf life. Imagine four 16-foot refrigerated trucks filled to their absolute brim. That's how much food we recovered. We fed 23,000 people in two days. Nobody slept. And it's not, you know, hot dogs and popcorn. It was lobster rolls and pulled pork sandwiches and $300 cheeses, high quality food. If we can get the food that would otherwise be wasted to people who need it, we're not only fighting hunger, but we are actually slowing global warming. And, and yes, you could say that Copia can hire the homeless, but let's make sure that they've got enough energy to do a job first, rather than one that needs some training by feeding them. And I know that the way things are right now, uh, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that, that's against the idea of using technology for anything since we've gotten news about the Cambridge Analytica debacle. But this is proof that algorithms and data analytics can be used a right way. And fear not, I will be talking about the Cambridge Analytica issue and what that means soon. You can subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on it. See? Advertising for positive means. I I'm, I'm like the wonky fruit of the comedy world.